Hello, Assalamualaikum and good day. My name Samsul and today I would like to share with you metric methods for systematic literature review. And before we start, I would like uh, to invite you to subscribe and like my YouTube channels. Why we need a metrics methods? Metric methods enable us quickly to compare and contrast the scope of research across the time. Matrix method help us easily to spot the similarity, differences, and gap between the past study for future prediction. The easiest way in assessing articles in our fields or maybe we could help hundreds or maybe thousands but the most important thing is to find the suitable one in measuring their values and findings on how influential they are. So, there are four tips to make sure that we can do our systematic literature review by finding the key concepts that the article inform the central ideas, diverse perspective and the argumentative approach. Number two, use credible sources utilize as possible as you can the university subscribing sources such e-journals e-books and etc in order to make sure we can manage our literature review we need to identify the best available tools in the market that manage to ease your work such atlas ti mandele or any relevant apps and the most important part is how can you develop the key trends, find the popularity, interest, and demand in the area of study? The reason why I share with you all the four tips is to ensure that we find the research gap. What is the research gap? Research gap is a research question or problem which has not been answered discovered, explore, or at all in a given field of study. The research gap was identified based on the ideal and the current situation that give you the direction of the study. It shows you have a deep understanding of the status of the body of knowledge in your chosen fields and finally it shows that you have conducted a research which fulfill the gap in a literature review. As you can see here, the table explain on how the matrix method work to identify the gaps. So this is one of the examples of one literature review that I have did based on the journal written by the Abrami and Barrett on 2005. And if you can see here, I also listed the journal's names to make sure that I easily can track and I put it also the research objective and research question has been stated here the combined research evidence on the portfolio used with the practical feedback and I think that the most important part is to make sure that we can see what are the methods used in this study and if we can see here is the qualitative and they are using the document analysis and what are the findings and the best part is we need to relate with the current situation also the ideal situation and at the end of the day we can found the gap and this gap can be the indication on how important and how significant the study in our research so i hope that all of you can use this table as a reference maybe to make sure that we can manage our literature review so have a good try and have a good day. Thank you.